Hey, what is up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys my 24-hour follow-up experience so far with the latest iOS 14 developer beta 5. I know a lot of you guys are still asking yourself, should you update? In this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the latest details on the software, additional new features and changes, as well as some of the latest bugs within the software. So let's just dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is bugs. I've encountered two bugs. Number one, sometimes for whatever reason in certain applications, the keyboard fails to pop into action. So if you uh, go to type or search, the keyboard just never appears. It doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't really happen throughout the OS, but certain applications sometimes I've experienced this behavior. Another bug that I've experienced is within Instagram. So if you like Instagram, this might be very important to you. If you go to post an Instagram story and you click to share, you get this blank image. The photo just doesn't appear for whatever reason, so you can't really post to Instagram stories. That's another bug that I've come across over 24 hours of using the software. I'm not sure if that's important to you, but yeah, it is something that is currently happening. Other than that, really, in terms of performance, this is a whole lot better than beta 4. Yes, not as many bugs, not as many hiccups. The software feels actually pretty good and stable so far. But of course, you can expect my weekly follow-up. Maybe about five days from now, I'll have another video explaining the battery and any additional new features and changes that I may come across. But let's get to some of the latest changes that I've come across so far 24 hours later. So in the Clocks application, you now have the ability to set an alarm and scroll through the time back you had to just kind of type it in in beta 4 beta 3 but now apple added the ability to scroll on the clock so yeah the ability to scroll is back on the clock just a minor thing uh, but definitely something that uh, has been changed here now the exposure notification system has also been updated as well so i have all right there it is exposure notifications as you can see you can turn on notifications it will walk you through here to select your country your region and you can go ahead and set it up if you have a local uh, government official application so i can go ahead and set mine up i did download one so i'm using this one here for the state of Florida so I can go ahead and turn it on right here and you'll see that once I enable it it'll ask me to enable it click done and now I can go back to the exposure notifications and now this one is providing and share uh, IDs with other devices back and forth and I can go in here and check the details if I've been exposed or not and you have the ability to turn off uh, exposure notifications directly from here and so forth so this uh, feature here just continues to get a lot better something that a lot of you guys are probably interested in now next is the shortcuts application now gives you a new uh, splash screen here you have shortcuts for apple watch you also have automation suggestions you have starter shortcuts and then you have the compact designs guys you can now really hide photos in the photos application in ios with ios 14. so if you hide a photo in ios 14 from the general view here if you go to albums you can still find the hidden photos within the album so it wasn't really hidden this was always an issue in ios but now if you go to settings and we head on over to the photos extension we now have the hidden albums right here if i tap on that you see that the album disappears completely from the categories if i go back let's go back and turn it on you see that the album comes right back so now you can really hide the photos on the camera application or the photos application on your iphone so thankfully apple seems to be uh, really really considering some of the uh, suggestions the customers are putting out there unlike before apple would just take forever it looks like ios 14 is really headed in the right direction now as i mentioned there's going to be a weekly follow-up i'll talk about the battery and uh, additional performance information and of course the youtube community poll which will be going up shortly so you can also express your thoughts everything will be in that video in the next couple of days here but so far uh, if you're looking to update to this base beta beta 5 uh, my answer to that is if you're running beta 3 then yes i do recommend you update or beta 4 but if you're on ios 13.6 or 13.6.1 and you wanted to venture into ios 14 on a primary device definitely no there's still a few bugs to iron out and the battery just isn't quite there just yet but so far for beta testers and public beta testers if you're on beta 4 beta 3 yeah definitely beta 5 is definitely an improvement for you guys as well thank you for watching today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one peace